I can't see anything smoking now. Oh, I can. Shit! Whoa! So if you remember with the Onkyo, I changed the capacitors and I put a new transistor on there. Now there's a couple of things that I didn't do right last time. And like I've said many times, I'm not a professional, so I am going to make mistakes. So generally I break as much as I fix. But with this one, there was a couple of things. Now firstly, and it's something I didn't realise I'd done. Uh, it was a, a somebody who watched the video commented, and they were very, they were quite right to uh, to say what they said. I didn't put the the Mika insulation behind the transistor, so I'm going to sort that out now. But what those who saw the last video will remember is clever Dick here put the capacitor in the wrong way. Well, one of the capacitors in the wrong way which led to it blowing so a week goes past i've ordered new capacitors from cpc so by the time they delivered and so on uh, so as a week has gone past so i'm fitting these capacitors here now now there's a caveat here something i've got to explain if you look closely and i'll zoom in at that point if you look closely see those black lines i assumed and i assumed wrongly that they are the minus or the negative or the ground uh, markings for the capacitors so this is the mistake i made last time and unfortunately this is the mistake i'm going to make again but this time it kind of goes even more catastrophically wrong so what we'll do now is we'll speed through me fit in the new capacitors and the, uh, the insulation for the transistor and then we'll jump straight into the test and how badly it went but just to reiterate there will be another part because i've now got two oh uh, capacitors i've got the the brand new one that didn't blow and i've got the old one that didn't blow so i can use them now to do a full video i can pull them in and hopefully test this amp without messing up or blowing it up but as you'll see later on you you'll see where i've got confused and how i should have orientated them but i can't believe i made the same mistake again but hey ho no one's perfect so enjoy the rest of the video and uh, the fireworks that ensue. So here we go again. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, yes, I'm a bit nervous. So I got a speakers plumbed in. I'm running this CD player. And it. Ah, just plugged in. So the first step now is to switch the power on. <laughs> right. So the power's on.
Ooh. No, 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 it's still smoke, it's still smoke, it's still smoke. Right. How can that be? How can that be? Hmm. I need to see what's smoking then, don't I? If I'm going to shut the power off again, I'm going to have to take the cover off. I need to see what's smoking, don't I? Ugh. Right, we need to see what's smoking. I can't see anything smoking now. Oh, I can. Shit! Whoa! 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 Right. I think it's safe to say there's something really wrong with that it's going into that capacitor. Uh, I've done it again. As you can see, there's the dot there and the dot there. But underneath, on this circuit board, there's a minus sign U on the other side. And that's why I double checked. And yes, it was against that, and that's where I've assumed, and that's where I went wrong last time, and that's where I've gone wrong this time. But thinking about it now, I've got this capacitor, which is good, and I've also got the other one that didn't blow. So I'll put them in and I'll put out a part three. But until then, I will see you soon.